back, everyone. With all the excitement of the big game, well, unfortunately, comes a dark side that very few people know about, let alone want to talk about. But we decided it was too important to not dive in deep in today's Real Talk. We have Mary Frances Foley, founder and executive director of Wellspring Living, which fights childhood sexual abuse and exploitation, and a trafficking survivor, Sierra Thompson, who is here to share her story, and of course, Akira is here as well, and she stuck around. And uh, Mary Frances, I have known you now for a couple of years, mm -hmm. uh, since Vicki Locke, who is incredible, uh, got us, got me involved um, in Wellspring. Um, talk about the great work that you're doing, and really let everybody know um, what an unbelievably big problem this is, especially yeah. here in Atlanta. Absolutely. So Wellspring Living has been around for about 18 years, and we work with girls and women in a residential setting as well as a community-based setting, helping them to really regain their life. Um, so much has been stolen from their childhood, from their young adulthood, and their ability to really live life after they've gotten out of this type of life sure. is, is really damaged. And so we're providing life skills, we're providing therapy, we're providing uh, education so that they can really live a life that they were created to live. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's so beautifully said. It's so true. Um, and then uh, it, are these numbers accurate that, that it, we are leading the nation? We are definitely one of the cities that leads the nations with this issue. And there are many factors. Um, you know, one is disposable income. That's one of the reasons why the Super Bowl is got will probably have more trafficking during that time because you'll have more people mm -hmm. coming in to spend money on what some people consider entertainment. But we know it is a terrible criminal, horrendous act. And so what our goal is, is to really let people know that this is happening and don't participate. Right. Um, we are galvanizing volunteers all throughout the city. Um, Mary Frances was telling me in the commercial break that there are going to be thousands mm -hmm. um, this week. Um, helping and volunteering and of course we'll, we'll make sure that you have the website to know how you can help but we need everyone mm -hmm. and Sierra I want to turn to you um, you actually were lured into this via Instagram yes um, which is just horrible to think about kind of take me back and tell us your story my trip guys is a girl Instagram so initially I went in to ask her how she was making money what she was doing to travel like you know what was your what was your quick way to get cash? So he then revealed himself and me and him began to develop a relationship and he flew me out to Houston. We spent one night together and then literally the next day I got to work. And explain what you mean you got to work. I tried on a few outfits, I went to the strip club and this was not your typical strip club. This was a strip club that was very raunchy, dirty, dark small, um, there were used items in the VIP area, these men, it was a BYOB, so they would bring their own liquor, and you can imagine the things that they would put in the liquor if, it, if it's a BYOB, just to, you know, get these girls to do whatever they want. Whatever they wanted, right. At what point, like, when you really saw that, you know, a lot of viewers might be thinking, well, why didn't you immediately get to a phone and say, I got to get out of here. I need somebody to help me. Somebody fly me home. Somebody get, I need bus money. You know, what happened? It's just a mastermind of like manipulation and brainwash. So there was no, oh, I want to go home or because immediately as soon as I got there, my phone was taken and I was given a flip phone. So I had no numbers, no communication. I, I should know numbers by heart. Sure, sure. But I didn't. Yeah. Right. And um, it just, you know, he immediately stripped me away from my old life and began this new life with me. So if I did want to leave, you know, there were beatings and, you know, he would, you know, try to wine and dine you the next day after he beat you. So you wouldn't leave. Right. right? I was something Mary Francis said, like the second sentence you said was that the people that pray, they they've stolen your your identity, your childhood. I right. think that's so important, that yes. word, because it's a crime, essentially, that's done to you with your innocence and your childhood, right. your naivete and your trustfulness, and I'm sure that's what you're feeling like 
everything was just stole, taken from me. Right. right. Mm-hmm. And you can't get it back. And then you feel like you're in this vicious cycle. And then it, as a typical manipulation, they lure you. I was reading your story about, oh, well, this happened, but I'm going to give you a gift. And, and it, it, it's really like a hole, like, a, like the, the tricks that they're playing. Um, and how did you get back? How did you get to safety? So it was towards the end of 2017, I got back in contact with my mom. We began to talk more and, you know, she said, you need to get your GED. Like, no matter what you do in life, get some education. You need to do something. So hearing that from her and then getting beat every day, it's like, you know, which one would would you rather live? So I came home and she knew that in my mind I wasn't right. You know, you need therapy. You need to, you need to do something. So she found Wellspring for me. And I joined Wellspring, got my GED in six out of ten weeks, and, and now, you know, career, apprenticeship, I'm a, I'm a full graduate. Wow. <laughs> I've had the pleasure of meeting girls just like you, and it, it really is incredible when you think about where they came from and what, what they struggled with and, and how to overcome all of that and, and talk about the ways that you do help. So they literally arrive at your door, right. and, and, and it's up to you. To build, to build back their confidence, to make them feel safe. Right. Well, it's up to us, but yet it's up to them. Oh, of course. So I just have to say they're smart. They're resilient young women that walk in our doors. And so our goal is to really help them to realize who they really are. And you do that through therapy. You also do it by giving them the tools and equipping them to go out and get a great job. So once Sierra got her GED, then she went into the career track. And in the career track, we're t- teaching them life skills. They're having still having their therapy, personal development, professional development, and they get trained in Microsoft Office and get certified so that they're really prepared to go into a workplace and do well. And uh, so once they finish that career track, then they get to go into a 12-week paid apprenticeship. And Sierra got to do that. You, it is just like you're glowing. Yeah. I really feel like you, you you feel you look like you feel peace. Yeah. Yes, I'm 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 at peace. Um, I'm happy with myself. I feel courageous. Um, I feel brave, uh, and I just want to raise awareness and help other women. Yeah. Speaking of helping other women, like how do we help if we are just out and about this weekend? Are there certain signs we should look for, or because? You know, I'm, I want to yeah. speak up if I see something. Right. Well, one thing that always clicks in my mind, like we were pulled over numerous times before and it would just be one guy and a million girls in a car. So why wouldn't the cops not, you know, feel question something that. or question mm-hmm. that? Yeah. Um, we would go out and it would be a bunch of girls and one guy. Like, how is not, you know, how isn't anyone even questioning him yeah. or asking him, like, what do you do? You know, so I would just... Like the way we dressed, we would dress very raunchy, so we could provocatively you know, to so lure, we, yeah. yeah, to lure to lure um, these buyers in, or um, you know, he would be dressed in designer. It, it's it's really hard to because they kind of keep it low key, but at the same time, they're flashy to lure other girls in. Sure. So they're appealing to the to the girl's eye, but you right. know, just regular people, it's hard. Sorry, is that person still on Instagram? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. I mean, how can we get that? Oh, right. Well, that's... okay. Let's. It, we only have about two minutes left. I want to make sure you tell us, Mary Francis, mm-hmm. what we need to do and, yes. and and how we can all galvanize and help. Right. So if you see something, say something. Got it. So our police, ex- actually in Metro Atlanta, are very well trained, and they know what to look for. So mm-hmm. we can have confidence that if you call nine one one, that they're going to know how to respond. That that beat policeman, the person on the street, knows who to call. That has the experience with this type of trafficking situation. They know what to do. Good. So if you see young girls or women all around with someone not necessarily treating them right you don't think it's family right if you're suspicious if your gut says something's wrong listen to your gut do something right and um i think the other thing is let's be sure we keep our children safe let's make sure we understand what's going on 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 their social media right that's a huge way that that children are lured in right because yeah it it starts innocent enough or maybe you're like wow following someone you're like i admire that look at them they're leaving Mm -hmm. they're living a great life how did they get to do that um and that's where it starts. Um, if they go to the website, um, what else can we do to help in the long term, but right, right. now, especially right. this week? Well, Saturday we'll be training 
volunteers at Mount Perrin uh, Church of God, and it's, we're working in partnership with in our backyard, and we're going to need lots of people that will be trained, and then we're taking packets to convenience store. Uh, all over right. Metro Atlanta. What are you training us to do specifically? Just to understand what trafficking is. And, and then how for. do you go into that convenience store and get them the information? We're putting stickers on the back of the bathroom stalls. We're giving them a booklet at the point of sale that has the pictures of all the kids that have been missing and exploited in Georgia. Last Super Bowl, one half of the kids in the booklet were rescued. So this is a huge way that we can make a difference. That all you have to do is take a few and distribute it. And it's a small it. thing, right. but it's a big thing. Sure. Mm -hmm. So we can learn all of that on the mm -hmm. website. Yes. Um, and make sure everyone knows wellspringliving.org. Yes. Or mm -hmm. wellspringliving.org. And it's not just about this week. It, this could be the start of, of, of your passion to help these young women. And thank you so much. What would you say to anyone out there, you know, who may be feeling vulnerable? Um, what advice do you have uh, just to stay strong and, and to, to kind of stay away from that kind of element? If you're feeling vulnerable, don't, because you're not alone. There are people that want to help you. Think before you do. Don't just jump for it. And... Do something for you, you know, stop doing for others. This is for you, this is about you, and, you know, come to Love Spring. Yeah. 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 Incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you for the great work that you continue doing, and best of luck. Best yeah. of luck. I'm yeah. so proud of you and impressed by you. It's just incredible. Thank Again, you. it's wellspringliving. Dot org to learn more. And the uh, uh, training Saturday, you said? Yes, uh, at 8.30. Like tomorrow. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Yeah, 8.30, 830. not here in Church of God. Awesome. Yeah. All right, training with Trent's coming up next. Thank you. Okay.